Hello, this is Brian Scuttle of Sonic Cinema. This is day 10 of the 2022 Atlanta Film Festival. Uh, once again, this weekend, I'm at home uh, wrapping up the screenings for the movies I'm going to be watching. And my last narrative feature for the uh, festival is uh, Hiawa Seems Quickening which uh, is available, has been available on the virtual platform. And it, it tells the story of Sheila, a Pakistani can Canadian teenager who's struggling to find her identity as she's starting in university. And the, the tension that arises between her university life and her personal life and her family's uh values um it's it, the movie starts off very very standard kind of coming of age movie and it really you know it, it kind of follows a lot of the same tropes a lot of the same ideas but the entire way i you know uh Arouj Azim, who plays uh, Sheila, is simply wonderful in this movie. After a certain point, and as her personal life starts to get even more complicated, and as her family life starts to get more complicated, it's harder and harder for her to keep the two separate. And the, the, the third act of this movie is just absolutely fantastic it it really hits you in a very deeply emotional place and it's you know it it's it's basically the wrapping up of the of everything that we've seen before but the way it does it the way it reconnects Sheila to her family the way it sort of solidifies Sheila's personality or at least or at least gives her a new starting place in her family in her personality and her life is is really quite lovely and I I I was I I was moved to tears by the end of this movie it was really deeply affecting um because it's one of those things where it's like as you it's one of the things that I like about movies like this is, especially when it's something that uh, connects to personal experiences. And I know, for me, the 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 struggle to sort of find my own identity uh, away from what my parents want me to be doing and to do in my life was was a profound one for me and uh i i feel like this is that's that is represented extremely beautifully here in uh the film and it's if you get a chance in the next couple of days i can't recommend it enough uh if you don't get to it on the virtual platform i i hope you check it out at other film festivals as well as when it is available for the general public because it really is a lovely film and it's it's well worth checking out uh that is my last narrative feature of the atlanta film festival this year i am down to one short film block and one documentary that i will be doing on sunday and then all the films that i'll be watching for the festival will be done so then it's a matter of wrapping things up, finishing up the podcast, and we will go on to the rest of the year. Okay, thank you very much.